Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back in Swiss. Oath of the Gatewatch, Battle for Zendikar, Draft. Alright, Hedron Alignment's the rare. I think we're just going to first pick Isolation Zone over Devouring Flames. It's got the double white requirement, but I think I like it more. Actually, they're probably pretty close. They basically deal with... There's not a lot of things that Isolation Zone deals with that Devour and Flames can't. But not having to bounce a land, even though some decks actually benefit from the the land bounce, um, I still think I probably just want to start her off with Isolation Zone. Alright. Well, I guess the obvious follow-up pick would be Oblivion Strike. So we'll do that um spawn binder would be fine thought harvester is i think actually pretty good and those are the only other two cards besides oblivion strike that are even close but oblivion strike's definitely the pick okay the best card in the pack is Probably Hunter or Avenger or Spawnbinder. Yeah, probably just taking the Spawnbinder. I like Slaughter Drone quite a bit. Taking three, four drops isn't ideal, but feels like taking Spawnbinder here is probably right. Taking a Relentless Hunter just doesn't seem correct after taking a white and a black card, both of which I'd play. And taking a Dwar Isle Avenger, it's the same sort of thing. Like, I'd rather play Isolation Zone or Oblivion Strike than Relentless Hunter or Dwar Isle Avenger. Alright, we'll take the Mage. Well, there's a Seagate Wreckage, which is probably fine. More 4 drops. Yeah, I mean, Chain Mage is good. Could take a second spawn binder. Free runner and flame seeker are in here. I think we're just going to take the chain mage. Gifted a work lyric. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Certainly better than Sky Climber and anything else in here. Cliffhaven Vamp. Yeah, taking that. It's one of the MVPs of Black White. A lot of four drops. All right, I think it's pretty easy. Scythe Master fits better with the ally theme we got going. Not uh, my favorite card for black-white most of the time because you're usually not attacking in. You can be, but three ones aren't my favorite in the grindy black-white deck, but still definitely the pick here over a Mimic. All right, guess we'll take another one. Uh, we can take a Waste over a Dazzling Reflection, just in case. Reaver Drone, not what our deck's looking for, but Witness the End with this many 4-drops is pretty bad, too. Guess we'll just take the Reaver Drone in case. Well, I might actually sideboard in a Witness the End. Possibly. Taking multiple wastes. Seems like I'm probably not going to end up playing them, but we'll take them anyway. All right, I'm going to cut the white card here. Take the black card. We're going to pass an Ancient Crab, let that person know they can take blue. Even though Ancient Crab is actually pretty good against our Scythe Masters. 
Last pick, land. It's got it. All right. Pretty successful back one. Powerful removal. Powerful archetypal cards. There's an Oath of Gideon. It's also Essence Depleter. And now that we have a couple of wastes, I guess that's something I could do. Um, so Oath of Gideon's going to be better with Chain Mage, Spawnbinder, War Cleric. Depleter's just definitely a stronger card. This is kind of interesting. Depleter's also really good with Cliffhaven Vamp. That's huge. That's a double drain. But playing the waste could take a toll. I guess it's just two one ones for cohort. We'll we'll take the depleter. I think it's just that much. It's got to be that much better. Reinforcements is very good, although it's another four drop. But it's better than Alpha Protector. And although tra translator is pretty awesome with depleter too. I think we're still gonna take the reinforcements. A lot of four drops. Is as long as like our deck, I guess, tops out at four. That's not a big deal. We can also do the old run 18 land thing. Let's just cut the corpse turn and reflection for now. I'd prefer to not main deck those. So definitely a top heavy deck at the moment, but we'll see if we can't alleviate that. Okay, Slaughter Drone versus Sky Climber. I like Sky Climber. I think I'm going to take that. I think Slaughter Drone actually looks good in here too, but... Sky Climber fits in a little bit better for the most part. Havoc Sower, if I want another 4 drop. Probably not. Uh, Alpha Protector is an option. It's also Raptor. It's interesting. I, think, I mean, Raptor's better than Protector. Is Protector better for this deck just to make sure that our we have enough low curve? Probably. With all these four drops, we got to make sure we have enough going on early game, you know? Raptor's good, though. I I think it's fine. I think we're going to take the Protector. There's a decent chance we wheel it, but we just need to make sure we have enough early game or else... We're going to be in trouble. All right. Soothsayer is just like super bomb. Okay. Taking the Envoy over the second Spawn Binder. It's just better for our curve. Better with all of our awesome cohort. All right. I'm going to take a second Sky Climber here over the Searing Light. Even though I like Searing Light a lot. Sky Climber is just a pretty excellent card. All right. Gifted a Searing Light anyway. I think I'm going to take it over the Unnatural Endurance. There are some creatures I'd like to protect, though. So, hmm. I could take the Unnatural Endurance. We have 12 creatures. All right. I'm going to take the Endurance. I usually would take Searing Light over the Endurance, I think. But we actually have quite a few creatures I'd like to protect. Like Cliffhaven, Soothsayer, Depleter, War Cleric. I'm just going to take this instead. Ooh, well, Wield the Oath of Gideon. That's a nice little gift. We're going to take it over the Seer's Lantern and the Meandering River. Oh, Translator. That's a playable card in here, actually, but we'll see if it ends up making the deck. Yeah, Translator and Depleter definitely like each other a lot. My turn, pay one mana and a life, drain you. It's not a drain, I guess, with Translator, but it's a steady clock. Call the Gatewatch. I think we're just going to cut the white card. Who knows, maybe we'll open a Planeswalker, and then this Oath of Gideon, Call the Gatewatch deck will come together. All right, we're just going to cut the, the black card here. Warping Whale. Well, second Unnatural Endurance seems more realistic to get played in here. 
So, yeah, we'd like to lower the curve a little bit. We'll let someone have bonds of mortality. So, yes, we just need to lower the curve. I'd probably cut Ulamog. Wait, isn't Ulamog worth a bunch of tickets? Isn't that just a really good open? What do we got? Seven tickets? Well, can to take that. Otherwise, probably a pretty easy castigator. Cheap ally. Fits our curve better, but taking seven tickets. Not going to play it, though. Uh, sheer drop is some removal. Cliffside Lookout. I think we actually have a higher shot of wheeling. I like Cliffside Lookout. There's also Sludge Crawler in here, which is good. But I'm going to take the Sheer Drop. Our removal is currently one Isolation Zone and one Oblivion Strike, right? And then some combat tricks. So I, I just like getting the extra removal. Sheer Drop, I feel like, maybe got a little bit worse. Is there more Vigilance? or Like, it doesn't work well against Cohort. Some cohort. I guess it works okay against Spawnbinder, but most cohort I feel like it's not great against. Regardless, it's going to be the pick. Okay, we can take the look out now. Titan's Presence is not the card. I guess we can take a look out. Unified Front's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, lookout's good. I'm not even sure if we're an 18 land deck kind of feel like we're not we have a lot of four drops but our curve's not super high envoy's good for us something to do early it's rising miasma but i feel like that kills a lot of our stuff envoy's good it does something early myers mouse would also be a thing but our curve if i want to play 17 lands especially i think i just want to lower our curve With double and natural endurance, maybe. That's not bad. All right. Take the tandem tactics. It's like the only card on color I care about, I guess. Lithium answers focus. There's Nurkana Assassin, which works well with the Cleric. It's also an ally. Also works well with Depleter. Not much beyond that, but it's probably a fine card. Otherwise, yeah, Lithomancer's Focus, which I probably don't need. Could take the Demon's Grasp, actually. Probably have enough creatures. Yeah, I could take the Demon's Grasp. Maybe I don't need double on Natural Endurance. Uh, I guess I can take Lithomancer's Focus now. I don't think we're playing it, though. It's not as good as Tandem Tactics. Whatever. Second Demon's Grasp. I think we want the Night Watch. This card's pretty excellent most of the time. Just such powerful synergy with Envoy. And awesome with Depleter. Awesome with Tactics. Awesome with War Cleric, yeah. Too synergistically good to pass up here. Maybe run it over. Maybe we don't need the translator. Translator basically just works with depleter. Which is fine, but I probably don't need it. Bone splinters. Not really this. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay with Oath of Gideon. I don't think it's what I want to do, though. I might just, I'll probably take the Pathway Arrows. It can be good in certain matchups. The X1 deck. I think this is still probably a 17 land deck. We don't quite have enough Mana Sinks to justify 18. Like, Depleter's a Mana Sink, but has a requirement, so it's not really a Mana Sink. And other than that, it's just like Cliffside Lookout, which I don't think is... Enough either. We do have some card advantage in the form of Soothsayer, which usually means you can get away with 18 a little bit better, but 
I'm not in love with it. I think we'll just hate this. Hmm. I don't really care about Mortuary Mire, but I don't need a Grave Birthing or a Dutiful Return. Yeah, I guess I'll take the Mire. I don't think we're playing it. I don't really like Mortuary Mire. Mire's Mouth, though, on the wheel is pretty insane. Might just be an upgrade to something in this deck. I, I, Myers Mouse is always good. I might just find something to cut for Myers Mouse. It's a pretty strong card. And I mean, if you look at it, for curves like this, I think we could get away with 17 lands. So I probably want to cut something in the middle. I could cut a side master. I don't think the card's that good anyway. Rush of Ice can be good. Side master's okay. This it's not. I'm looking for more like early or defensive cards. Like we have Oath of Gideon and Allied Reinforcements, which is interesting. So we really have like a ton. We have a ton of creatures. If you count these two and the awaken spells we have like 19 creatures i think we're gonna cut a scythe master for that reason got the assassin anyway you know i might actually play the assassin over the other scythe master i think that's actually justifiable with the war cleric depleter envoy i think i'd rather have the two three guy in this deck, where we just, you know, you know how black white works. It's the best grindy deck in the format. So, why don't we just cut the Scythe Masters? Which I don't even think are that great anyway. And have a deck like this. I mean, this looks pretty nice. Pretty decent curve. I feel pretty comfortable with 17 lands. We're not super mana intensive, so I think we can get away with. Two wastes, probably. Unfortunately, I just need the waste for Depleter. I still think that's okay, though. So if I do two wastes and then 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, I guess I can't do 8-8, eight, eight, can I? Hmm. Eight seven. I feel like I I can't super justify eighteen lands for this deck. It just the curve is not quite high enough, and the mana sinks are just not there. Just a lookout and a depleter. Do I want to run the double waste just for depleter? Depleter is a pretty strong card. See the problem is. It's, it's hard to cut Depleter because it actually has pretty excellent synergy in here if you think about it. It works really well with the Assassin and the Cliffhaven Vamp, which makes me want to play it. And it just it puts people away. It really does. Hmm. Yeah, at the risk of our mana base, I think I'm just going to run it like this. I, I think Depleter has enough upside where I want it. It's just a great, it's a great grindy card too. I think that's really why it works so well in this archetype. You can just sit back and block all day and then just put games away, which Black White is just so good at. All right, I mean, this deck's really good. The only issue is the mana base, I think, and the curve. So... Taking points away for a mana base and curve, but like synergy, it's top notch. Removal is very good. Bomby creatures, a little bit light, but like archetypal powerful cards. We have like Soothsayer, Vampire, uh, Cliffhaven Vampire, which are both excellent. I actually think Night Watch is like better in this format than it was in Triple BFZ. So even that card's pretty bomby. We definitely can put people away. Yeah. Not much to say. I think this deck's... Uh, 
B minus. I'll give it an 80%, maybe a 79% C plus. It's in that range, but very good. It looks very powerful. We'll run it like this. We'll see around one.